Welcome back to another episode of Freedom Finance with Lanny, guys. I'm going to make this a quicker video today, but we're really going to talk about my dividend Vanguard trifecta, the three ETFs I've been buying every single day, every single week, but really about how much dividend income did these three ETFs pay me in the second quarter of 2024, the pure passive income and it'll show you why I continue to build these three ETF positions. And then I'll briefly talk about my consideration of a potential fourth ETF, guys. So before we dive in, guys, make sure you grab your favorite beverage on this Sunday, your beer, your wine, your liquor, your espresso, your coffee, because you're Italian, baby at least for this weekend, and let's dive in to the passive income that these three dividend ETFs have paid me this second quarter. Let's get it. If you guys don't already know by now, by watching all of those previous videos, by watching all of my tweets on X, by watching the other channel that I'm a part of, guys, I buy three ETFs like clockwork. I buy Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF every single day, $60 per day. I buy Vanguard's Dividend Appreciation ETF, VIG, every single day, $50 now per day. I went up from the 40. And then I also buy Vanguard's High Dividend Yield ETF, VYM, yes, the competitor to Charles Schwab's dividend ETF SCHD, but I buy VYM and I've been buying them uh, since July of 2020 actually. So we have hit that four year straight mark on VYM. My wife buys about three shares and I do $300 every single Monday into VYM. And then I also try to sprinkle in 150 on Wednesdays, depending on how the month is shaking up from a budget or income standpoint, guys. So I do it regardless of what the market's doing, regardless of what the sound is going on in the stock market. I'm constantly investing. I save and I invest. Earn, save, invest, repeat. That is the name of my game, guys. What about you? Is that what you guys do? Let me know in those comments, guys. But been buying, what, VOO for about two straight years, um, every single day, a little bit over, maybe a year and a half, uh, two and a half years by now. And then VIG, a little bit over a year, maybe a year and four months into VIG. So these ETF positions, I finally crossed, um, and I think it was in June, the 100 share mark of VOO finally crossed that century mark. And then you know, shortly after, because the price for VIG is a lot lower than VOO, finally crossed the 100 share mark in VIG as well. So got two of those ETFs over the century mark. And actually right now with where I'm at with VYM, you know, currently as of right now on this video, you know, recording it here on this Sunday, guys, but I'm almost at 1475 total shares of VOIM between my wife and I. But you guys came here for how much dividend income that these three ETFs paid me. You know, and again, I turned reinvestment on. So every dividend that these ETFs pay me, it gets reinvested to buy more shares of that ETF. And that's what's really helped at least VYMs really grow as we get closer to 1,500 shares of VYM, guys. So we'll actually start it with VYM because they actually paid in June and VIG and VOO paid in July this year. But VYM, in my account across, I have obviously the SoFi account, link below in the description, get yourself some free stock. I use and buy all my ETFs right now on SoFi, set it, forget it. I'm, I'm able to automate all my investing in the ETFs over at SoFi. So check the link below. Um, again, SoFi doesn't sponsor me, but again, the link is in there in case you'd like to test out the SoFi investing app. And then I also have a lot of UIM stock, I call it legacy stock on my Ally investing uh, platform as well. And then my wife's over at Ally also on their investing platform. 
So when I combine the two dividend payments from VYM, the one from SoFi, the one from Ally, I actually received a total of $845.24. And for argument's sake, let's say it was $120 a share at the time, that reinvested into about seven more shares for me in VYM. And that's the beauty of the dividends. So that seven shares just created more passive income for me for the next dividend essentially already. Um, and it's just going to snowball and compound all by itself, guys. That's why I love dividend investing. Tell me that is one of the beauties and the magic in dividend investing as well for you. Let me know in those comments, guys. So my wife, again, because I was doing I was doing more and I started a little bit earlier than my wife buying BYM. So she doesn't have quite as much as I do. But she still pulled in $628.57 in her individual investing account as well. So in total, actually, here, let me let me actually highlight both of these here because we're almost at $1,500. Yeah, $1,473.81 in combined dividends from Vanguard's high dividend yield ETF alone right there. So, and that's over, a, you know, every quarter they will pay that or at or around that same amount. So we're talking, we're almost at $500 a month in VYM dividends, guys, alone. We're getting a check for $500 a month already. It takes years, years to build. This is a four-year build and process, guys. But again, continue to earn, continue to save, and continue to invest. All right, so what about, eh, let's go to Vanguard's dividend appreciation ETF. Let's go to the VIG. Yes, let's get into it, guys. Ah, didn't quite get the hundred dollar mark here on yet on this one, but ninety dollars eighty six cents from Vanguard's VIG paid me this quarter, hoping that the next one more than likely with investing, you know, with maybe a little bit of growth as well, come Q three, that this one will for sure be over the hundred dollar mark next quarter. Uh, bought me close to maybe half a share because uh, I think if I do a quick check, um, yeah, VIG is about 187 at the time of this video, so more than likely grab me close to a half a share. Now Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF VOO, the V stands for 500 500. Again, I always like to put that out there if you're new to watching the videos. Vanguard gets sometimes creative with their uh, tickers on their ETFs. But again, this one I've been investing for a long time, right? Almost two and a half years into VOO. And yes, it paid me more than VIGs, two times more actually, just about $180.60. And again, right now, obviously the market's at an all time high. $515, eh, you know, didn't buy me quite as much, right? Uh, probably bought me maybe 0.3 to 0.4, depending on what the price was at the time of reinvestment of additional shares, guys. So in total, Vanguard's ETFs in our taxable account paid us $1,745.27, guys. And that's it for Q2. Q3 is about to be another record, no doubt. The question is, is do we hit $2,000? Uh, I would, I would, I would probably bet on that. Um, you know, and again, the next ETF, the one that I'm going to continue to research a little bit more into, which actually was up, gosh, was up over four and a half percent for the week, is the Vanguard Small Cap Value VBR. You know, look into the small cap. I think this could be the time now where small cap starts running. Um, but again, not professional advice. So I just wanted to hint at there that the fourth Vanguard ETF that might start in my account i will let you know when i do have not started yet would be vbr so i'm strongly looking and researching the small cap value right now guys but again that's how much passive income the three etf my vanguard trifecta you betcha has paid me um, you know again i consider this passive income because now i already know what it's going to do by itself even if i stopped investing remember to check that video out that i put out there a couple weeks ago on what my Vanguard ETFs, how much passive income it would pay me if I stopped investing pretty much today, guys. But again, almost $1,750 in dividend income. Let me know how you're doing in your investing journey. Are you creating passive income? Are you buying dividend stocks? 
Are you selling, flipping real estate, rental properties? Do you own crypto? Let me know in the comments, guys. Oh yeah, and you haven't, subscribe to this channel, like this video, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.